Hi, my name is Russ Milheim from The Direct. Thank you both for speaking with me today about the show. Hi, Russ. Hi, How Russ. are you? I have seen all 10 episodes, and I really enjoyed the show. So congratulations. Thank you. Both of you guys have a lot of on-screen time together. Uh, can you talk about developing the dynamic between your characters and yourselves as actors, both on-screen and off-screen? I mean, honestly, he is so dedicated. When he's working, he's just the character. So um, the way I viewed you, I feel, was very much how Mariko viewed Blackthorn. Yeah, I think um, for me, it was like, because we were shooting this chronologically, I got to get to know you um, the same way Mariko was starting to understand Blackthorn. Um, so it just felt very uh, organic. And we did yeah, spend yeah. a little bit of time, you know, like we watched a couple films. Yeah. Um, but I think mostly it was just on set. Yeah. And we did work. We we took, we uh, had conversations about like the scenes a lot mm -hmm. and how we could you know get the most out of them and mm -hmm. that kind of thing and yeah but we just generally working pretty closely does uh for that long just kind of makes things uh pretty fluent yeah and you're you know seeing each other five days a week yeah. <laughs> for <laughs> hours a day so yeah now looking back uh on your time on the show for each of you, what was the most unique experience that you guys had? I, I feel like for me... I know there's probably I, a lot of them, but... <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, the most unique... I mean, it was all pretty unique from day to day. Every day was very different, and no two days were the same. Um, nothing particularly stands out, but that's just because I have a terrible memory. <laughs> but uh, I guess... Um, um, there was the, the huge there was a one of the sets is a huge hydraulic ship that they built uh which was pretty astounding and that's right it was cool it was it was uh that was something to remember yeah for me i think for me it was just everything because we were wearing different kimonos we were learning how to walk how to speak um like you know people in 1600 japan and so everything was unique you know, when it comes to your characters, uh, what was your favorite element of exploring them? Because, you know, they're all very multifaceted. But if you had to pick one particular angle that you enjoyed exploring the most. I think it's it's really difficult because there's so many amazing qualities about Mariko. But I loved that because previous um, Japanese portrayals of women always used to kind of be... Uh, you know, they were always kind of with a male figure and kind of um, following them. And Mariko, I think she's she's not waiting for anyone to save her. You know, she has her own destiny in her hands. And um, although it's not obvious in the beginning, we really see that towards the end of the show. And that's what I loved about her. I guess I, I just liked uh, maybe just to really... Um... What's the word for when you scrutinizing? I I liked scrutinizing and just studying the 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 text a lot and 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 the kind of I guess exploring all the different possible intentions that that might be applicable to the to the purpose of that motivation or scene. I I I I I thought that was good. You know, obviously the the process of making this show must have been you know a very long process with a, a lot involved. Um, but out of it all, you know, moving on to whatever comes next for both of you, what are you going to pull from your experience, you know, on Shogun that, you know, that you're going to utilize in future performances? What's what's really helped you grow as an actor? Um, well, like uh, with the whole thing, I mean, just because of the, because of the, it was already a, a sort of a, a very new. Um, scale and and also from a from a story perspective because it was because because of, of the archetypal because the, the archetypal nature of the story and the thematics it was it was quite i had never really um been involved in anything that was quite so sweeping in that way before and and so it was a, a welcome exercise to be able to to have you know worked on it and 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 it was i guess just the experience alone will will 
it's just a useful piece of experience and i'm sure it'll it'll be useful in the future <laughs> uh i think uh you know marika was such a heavy character to play and when we were towards the end of the shoot i was like i'm so ready to just move on to something more modern and light um but after seeing the final product i have to say you know there's something just so profound about a character like that and i only want to do projects that dig that deep and that are that heavy even though it is tough when you're in the midst of the shoot yeah, now before I before I head off, I want to pivot real quick, Anna. Uh, I want to ask about uh, Monarch. Uh, <laughs> you know, speaking of something uh, modern, I really enjoyed your performance in that as well. Have you heard anything about a season two or what you might want to see next for that one? I haven't heard anything. I'm asking the same questions that you guys are, so I don't have an answer for you. Well, that's that's fine. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep asking. Gonna make sure they make it. Uh, I mean, do you guys think that you'd want to explore anything else? You know in this era for this show for shogun the narrative substance of the book has been used up i mean yeah. so i i can't really there are sequels right well they're not related really. right yeah yeah they're yeah. They're, 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 they're not related so. this might not be my place to talk about it but you know this is based on our history in japan and so if they wanted to create more there there is a lot of material yeah but... there's a vast expanse yeah very uh, history which is r rife with dramatic potential well you know thank you <laughs> thank you guys again for talking with me about the show i look forward to everyone else getting to uh see all 10 episodes like i have thank you Russ.